Hi, welcome to the Exceed product demo. I appreciate you stopping by. My name is David Freeman. Um, what I want to do today really is just briefly talk about why Exceed was created in the first place and what challenges it solved in the market. Um, I want to spend a few minutes in the platform itself to show you um, the material from the front end perspective, in other words, the prospects and customers, and also how we create the material. Should get it all done in no less than 15, 20 minutes. And there's a thunderstorm outside in um, sunny Manchester, England today. So that should add some atmosphere. <laughs> Exceed really though starts with the marketing conversation. Exceed definitely benefits sales, there's no question, um, but it's owned by marketing. And the reason why is because the artificial intelligence has been trained to help the business development and the marketing drive that marketing qualified lead through to the sales qualified lead status and fast. And we can generate inbound leads from a number of different places, right? It could be maybe a webinar, an online form, request for demo, PPC, SEO, the list goes on. And there's a few critical things which uh, are rather important when we're um, following up with those inbound leads. For example, getting to them as quickly as possible, driving them to the next step to ensure that we're constantly looking to close the next step and move it into sales. If they're not ready to speak or they need more information, get them that information. Make sure you follow up when they ask to be. Um, and then also the biggest, of course, is getting those qualified prospects on a call, getting it booked for sales. So it's not just nice to have, but these are critical things when dealing with inbound leads. What we find today, however, is that for one reason or another, we're maybe not getting to those leads as quickly as we'd like to. Maybe we're not able to provide the information or the right information at the right time. And um, perhaps we're constantly changing or going back and forth with our qualification process because of human influence. And that in turn may mean it's taking us longer to get to the next step and to actually have best practice. Um, humans may not follow up as many times as we'd like them to or remember to do so. Um, and then all that may all mean that there's less data or less accurate data being put in the CRM, which has its consequences. All of this is just going to mean less meetings in the calendar for sales. Um, so we know what's important, but unfortunately, we don't seem to always reach that goal um, with our current model. Uh, so why is that? Um, so at Exceed, we believe that there's you know, revenue generating activity, but there's also you know, non-revenue generating activity. There's stuff which isn't immediately related to the sales, such as when you get follow-up requests or out of office replies or referrals to different individuals or them just saying they're not interested or follow up with me at a later date. All that stuff is pretty mundane and it happens all the time. And it's predictable as well, meaning it happens enough times that we can train a machine to understand it. Um, even positive responses such as, yeah, I'm interested, I've got a question for you, or we need to ask them a qualification question first, and the back and forth of just getting them in a meeting. Even those are positive actions, they're still not necessarily directly related to revenue whilst you're on the call already talking to the prospect. And it's stuff which, again, is quite predictable, pretty mundane, and it happens all the time. So what we're essentially suggesting now at Exceed is let the artificial intelligence take these tasks off the reps, which will free up a lot of their time, of course, make them happier. <laughs> it's an extra resource for them, so they don't have to do a lot of that mundane follow up. But it also ensures for marketing that you're going to have every single lead followed up with and touched. However long it takes, you can have peace of mind that's happening. Once you train the AI once with your uh, the qualification criteria in the playbook, it will be honored going forward. And the data that a machine puts into the CRM is always going to be more accurate and it's always going to happen with every piece of action as well. So we can grow faster with less humans. Um, and also, if we just want to achieve more with this current team that we have, then we think it's exceed artificial intelligence um, could be a good answer to that. Okay, so let's let's go into the platform. And I think just while we're sticking to the theme of marketing and the lead nurturing, it's maybe worth starting with the journey of a lead. Um, so just like I mentioned earlier, with a number of different ways that one can generate an inbound lead, we have on our website, simple online form to see a demo. Um, so let's say I filled in this information. Exceed integrates with a number of different uh, CRM systems natively, so it's dead simple to set up. But what that essentially means is once the lead has been generated, then Exceed is kicked into play. And Alice here is a virtual assistant, she's not real, and she's been trained that as soon as a lead comes into the CRM system, um, send out this particular email, which is thanking them for their inquiry. And also she has one qualification question to ask as well, to save the time for, for the salespeople to follow up and to ask these questions. 
In this case, the prospect responded and she says she has 500 leads, which is qualified for our organization. So the artificial intelligence knows this and goes straight ahead and answers immediately uh, saying, let's set up a meeting. This sounds like a good fit. All this is our proprietary software, as is the scheduler. And even if this prospect opens up the email after these times have expired, it will change according to the salesperson's availability. So it's really slick, less of that going back and forth to reschedule or to schedule these meetings. It can all be handled by the AI. Once the meeting's been scheduled, there'll be a confirmation that it's happened and also um, a reminder for the on the day or the day before the meeting is going to take place. We'll even scrape the phone number off the signature in case we didn't already have it in the CRM system also. So that's a simple inbound lead. You may also have um, another scenario in the same case where instead of actually saying, um, yes, this is how many leads I have, the prospect has also said, well, can we have a demo tomorrow at 9 a.m.? The AI is so clever that what it's done is recognized exactly the time and the date, sent out an invitation on behalf of the salesperson, and then sent a, a confirmation that that meeting has been set up. So not only can we just answer simple qualification, we can also read specific times, just taking that burden off the humans so that they don't have to do this back and forth for scheduling, but also for simple qualification. It may not always be qualified though. This is an example, Emily Blunt is another virtual assistant of mine and she's been trained the same way. Another prospect was on our website and she did the same thing and tried to qualify. In this case though, the prospect didn't answer her um, but just wanted to have a demo. So instead of just going ahead and scheduling all that, she stuck to the playbook and she insisted that the prospect first of all, tell her uh, how many leads so that she can qualify him. In this case though, the lead responded and it was below our qualification criteria. So instead of trying to set up a meeting um, with the sales rep, instead the artificial intelligence understands that this is not a good fit and sends a polite email explaining so. She's also moved it into not a good fit status in the CRM system as well. And all this has been done without any involvement of a human being, um, purely done with the artificial intelligence only. Um, and, you know, it's not all about those live inbound leads. What about those leads that have been accumulating in our CRM system, those business loss, those people that have gone quiet, those staler leads? Very often with new customers of Exceed, one of their most first and exciting campaigns is a win back or re-engagement campaign. And this is exactly what it is from Emily. Again, quick pitch to a prospect of mine that went quiet and also the scheduler there in case he wanted to have a meeting with me. In this case, though, there were many replies, of course, that can that can happen. But in this particular scenario, the prospect just wasn't ready to speak. So instead of leaving it at that or neglecting the lead altogether, um, my Emily, the virtual assistant, has actually pushed forward and said, OK, well, when do you think this will be the right time uh, to speak? This is all artificial intelligence to which the, the, the prospect responded, I'll be ready in six months. So she said, great. And then six months later, she sent an email. So if we start to now expand on how often this happens in our business, how often do we get inbound leads? How often do we need to qualify? How often are there simple questions from our prospect? How do we schedule our calls today? How quickly are we getting back to prospect? How many leads do we have sat in our CRM system that could actually do with some constant attention um, to draw out from there any business? This is where we can start to now really paint the picture of the power of Exceed, being able to have these engagements with our prospects on our behalf. So that's what it looks like for the um, for the prospects. What's it like for us to create these sequences? So this is where your sequences will sit or campaigns or playbooks. To create a sequence, it's really pretty simple. I'm just going to put test, test. Um, we have chat and SMS, incidentally, which I'll touch on briefly before we close our demo today. And we have a number of templates already created um, for our customers in, in the system. So perhaps it's a webinar follow-up or a win-back campaign, like I mentioned before. The cadence between each follow-up, the text in each copy of the email may differ. Let's stick to inbound sequence. That's our theme today in any case. And that would include all your online forms and webinar follow-ups and PPC campaigns and all that cool stuff. Uh, and then we create the sequence and then we're presented basically with three different stages um, of the conversation before it gets handed over to sales because that's his ultimate goal. So I'm actually going to start from the back end and explain that once we do have an interested party, once they are qualified, once they've been given the information they require, once they've agreed to a meeting, we want to CC a rep on an email and get that person to book a meeting with that particular rep. All that is done automatically. Anytime during the process, 
um, whilst we're building up to this scheduling, if the prospect was to reply that they're not interested, they're the wrong person, we would move the status to ended in the system and we would reply to them automatically saying, okay, thank you for your help. In case they said they're out of office or they want to be contacted later, we would move it to the status in the CRM system in, as out of office or contact me later. We'd also then be able to reply to them um, on the time in which they do return to the office. So that's also done by the artificial intelligence. And even if they refer us to a different colleague in the company, the artificial intelligence will take that new email, email that new person and draw reference to the conversation they had with their colleague as well. So these are the scenarios where the artificial intelligence can help. Where does it all start? Well, it all starts with a simple get their attention conversation. Maybe they've just, just like we saw with Emily and with Alice, somebody's just filled in an online form. We can customize 100% um, the copy of the email. We can include images and ha even hyperlinked. And we can also integrate, as I mentioned, with the CRM system so that we can include any data which exists in the CRM system in the copy of this email, making it very personable and relevant for the prospect. It goes without saying for any tool like this, really, we should have a ways to do some A-B testing as well so that we can just replicate success and keep bettering our practice as we go along. And we also have our own artificial intelligence bot here to help you uh, along uh, to create the best possible copy ever. So you'll have a lower medium or a high chance of getting a response. And there'll also be some advice from the AI to help you along as well to better that outreach. But really where the AI shows its real value is once you're engaged with the prospects and now when they've responded, because all the automation software out there, Outreach and HubSpot and your email, um, uh, MailChimp, for example, they all stop when the prospect responds. But the beauty of Exceed and artificial intelligence is we can continue the conversation. Hi, Mr. Prospect, great to hear from you. Yes, our pricing starts from $5,000 a month. Can we get on a call? Here are my options for a conversation. And then the, the AI will keep following up even after they've shown interest until they can indeed get them on the call um, with that particular salesperson or qualify them or provide whatever information they need to do so. Now, perhaps you're wondering, well, okay, well, how do we get that answer? How do you do the answer? How does it know? Well, first and foremost, Exceed has been trained on a huge amount of data related to sales. Anything of pricing, discounts, competitors, support, integrations, info, case studies, um, all of that stuff is understood. So first and foremost, out the box, if I write, for example, in this search bar, uh, what is the cost, which is just one way out of many uh, for asking uh, how much does something cost. Exceed already knows that that means the pricing. So a lot of the answers that we need to create, the questions are already understood, and we just need to come in now and put in the relevant information that pertains to us. So it could be provide me a case study, please, or it could be um, who's your biggest competitor or do you do monthly pricing models? Whatever it may be, we'd be able to include that in the actual email itself if a prospect was to ask it. Of course, if it didn't ask it, there'd be nothing there. And the same goes for us asking questions, qualification questions back to the prospect as well, um, as it does for the prospect asking us questions. And then, as I mentioned earlier, the main goal here is to then hand them over and get them into a scheduled call with a salesperson. And that's how we set it up. So essentially, what we'd like to see is something a little bit like this is that after a campaign, we might have you know, a few meetings set. This is real data from the past few days from one of our reps. She's had four meetings set in her calendar for her without lifting a finger. Four people have been assigned that have come through our inbound marketing, but they haven't yet been qualified. 11 people have been qualified, but they haven't yet had a meeting set. So that's a considerable amount of work, um, getting the meeting set, getting the prospects qualified, which now our rep hasn't had to do herself. And in addition to that, you can see there's been 25 conversations that have been had with the artificial intelligence where they've disqualified the prospect. 35 people have replied that they are not interested. And then we've had three people saying they're the wrong person and maybe referred, referred us to somebody else. If a rep spends six minutes a week on a lead, then that's an extra 92 hours of work that this particular artificial intelligence has, has performed for this, um, um, for this rep as well. That rep will be able to spend a lot more time on the, on the, the good conversations, um, dealing with uh, proof of concepts, filling up the calendar with qualified calls instead of a lot of that mundane follow up, which they used to do. OK, wow, what a ramble, but I hope that I was able to show at least the picture of where Exceed benefits the end user 
quick, smooth, efficient um, process for them to get quick answers and get a demo booked with the vendor that they're interested in. From the company side, really dead easy to set up, gets those bums in seats for those qualified calls, follows up in a speedy manner, provides the information and frees up all that time for the salesperson. And that was all on email. But everything we've seen today can also be achieved on chats, which we can throw on your website, the same qualification, the same scheduler, as with a text message. So you can send messages automatically to prospects and schedule a meeting and answer questions through that as well. These are just some of our awards and some of our customers for validation as well. But essentially, that's the end of my demo. Uh, very grateful for you uh, coming and having a look at us. By all means, do get in touch if you'd like to learn more. All the best.